this brief video, I'm going to walk you through logging into your Pinnacle Online courses. First of all, you're going to want to make sure that the internet browser that you're using is Internet Explorer, for this is the program that works best with our courses and our software. Next, you're going to want to make sure to go to our website, www.pinnacleeducation.com. Once you are on our website, you'll notice on the home page, there is a student portal up in the right-hand corner. This is where you're going to click to access your courses. This will send you to the student portal page. At the very bottom, there's two options to click to to go into two different learning systems. Since you're in summer school and you're assigned new courses, you're going to go to our new ELS. So go ahead and click on the green button. This sends you to the login home page of Pinnacle Online High School. From here, you're able to type in or copy and paste your username and password. You should have received your username and password in an email that it was sent to you earlier. After you copy and paste your username and password, go ahead and click Login. The first page you come to is your private messaging page. This is your primary way of communicating with your instructors or counselors here at Pinnacle Online High School. This is the type of email that you will use while you're taking classes with us. If you want to send an email to your teacher, all you need to do is click New. Give you a list of all of your teachers and the courses that you have been assigned to. All you need to do is click on your teacher, add a subject, and a message, and click send message. You'll notice send message was successful. This indicates that your message that you sent was sent successfully. If you ever want to go back and see any messages that you've sent before, you can click on the sent box. It shows you all messages you've sent and when you've sent them and to whom you sent them. If you ever want to look back to see what messages you've received, all you need to do is click on the Received box, and it will indicate any messages that you've received. After checking your private message, you're going to want to log into your courses, and to do that, you click on the My Courses link. This will direct you to the Timesheet application. The Timesheet application is where you're going to be entering your time for the remainder course with Pinnacle. Every day you log in, it will indicate dates of previous days that you might have worked in the course. So for instance, today is May 5th, so it's asking me to enter time that I did work on May 4th and May 3rd. To do that, I need to make sure that I select every box with an option. I'm telling the computer right now that I spent about an hour's work in all three of my courses on May 3rd. When I click validate, it's going to give me a warning message. This warning message is just to remind you that it is recommended that you spend at least the very minimum of two hours per day per course. Since you are taking a summer school course, the time frame for this course is shortened, so we recommend at least four to five hours a day five days a week spending time in your online course this summer. Go ahead and click continue and save time. This will jump you to the next page. Um, on this page you'll notice that it's 5-4 so it's asking me to enter time that I did work on May 4th. Again, I'm going to put two hours because I was able to spend a little extra time in each of my classes. And you'll notice now, since I put two time, which is the bare minimum requirement for courses, when I hit validate, I will not get the warning message. After I have clicked and submitted time for each day, you will receive a yellow bar that says timesheet submitted successfully. Press here to continue. It's very important to click here um, after you submitted all time to go to your courses. If you do not get this box, or after clicking this box, it does not send you to a new window. Please click here on Trouble Accessing Courses. This will give you helpful tools. Um, sometimes you might need to disable a pop-up blocker or use a different internet browser. For now, let's click on the yellow bar to continue to our courses.